yes indeed. Let's make music, yes indeed, yes indeed, my friends. Hello boys and girls and welcome to week seven with Music Time with Mrs. M. I'm so excited to share what I have planned for you this week. And if you look behind me, I have my friend Charlie, who's gonna help out with today's lesson. And we're gonna um, go fishing. So let's get started. My friend Charlie here, he has a little chant that I want you to audiate first. Ready, Charlie? Ready. Okay, so audiate my chant, please. Down in the depths of the deep blue sea lived a little fish and his name is Charlie. He loved to talk, he could chat all day. When I talk to him, this is what we say. Did you audiate? I hope so. Now, Charlie's going to say some patterns, some rhythm patterns, and what I want you to do is to echo those patterns back after Charlie does. Okay? Here we go. Down in the depths of the deep blue sea lived a little fish and his name is Charlie. He loved to talk, he could chat all day. When I talk to him, this is what we say. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Great job. Now this time Charlie's gonna take our neutral syllable ba and we're gonna use our macro beats and micro beats in duple meter. Now remember that our macro beats are called do and our micro beats are called do day. So once again, you're gonna listen to Charlie and echo his patterns using do's and do days. Okay, here we go. Down in the depths of the deep blue sea lived a little fish and his name is Charlie. He loved to talk, he could chat all day. When I talk to him, this is what we say. Do, 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 day, do. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Do, 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 do. do. Do, day, do, do, do. Great job. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit because our chant talks about chatting or talking with Charlie. And when you have a conversation with someone, you don't echo what they say back to you. You add something new to the conversation. For example, if I were to say to Charlie, hi, Charlie, how's it going? Charlie is not going to say, Hi, Charlie, how's it going? He's gonna say, I'm doing great, how are you? So what Charlie said was different from what I said. So we call this in music call and response. When you come up with a different pattern or a different response to what the first person said or performed, okay? So for example, if we use our do's and do days only, if Charlie were to say to me, do, do, day, do, day, do, maybe I would say, do, day, do, do, day, do. Something different. Does that make sense? Listen one more time. Ready, Charlie? Yep. Do, day, do, day, do, do. My turn. Do, 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 day, do. Okay, so do you see how that works? So your job when Charlie says his pattern is to say a different pattern back to Charlie using do's and do days, okay? It's a little bit trickier now, so you gotta really think, okay? Here we go. Down in the depths of the deep blue sea lived a little fish and his name is Charlie. He loves to talk, he could chat all day. When I talk to him, this is what we say. Do, 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 do. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Do, 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 day, do, day. 
do day, do day, do day, do. Were you able to come up with a different pattern? If you were, that's great. If it's still kind of hard for you, it will get easier the more we practice it. So great job either way. Now remember in music, we, what we just did, when we have two voices talking back and forth to one another, we call that call and response. Say that with me, call and response, okay? And that's actually going to be your exit ticket question for this week. What does it mean when two people are having a musical conversation where they say different things? Call and response, okay? Great job. Now we're gonna end our lesson today with a story, an old lady story. And she is so silly that she is here today and she has swallowed a shell. And you have a very special part to sing in this story and it goes like this. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. So let's try just that first part. It goes like this. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. Try that with me. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. Now the second part is, listen first. She didn't tell. Sing that with me. She didn't tell. Now let's put that two together. Audiate first. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. Your turn and I'll sing with you. Here we go. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. So that's your very special part when we read our story today. Okay, and I hope you can see the pictures all right at home. There was an old lady who swallowed a shell. That old lady. There was an old lady who swallowed a shell. Here's your part. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a crab. Why did she grab that crawling red crab? She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. Here's your part. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. Oh my, Charlie, don't look. There was an old lady who swallowed a fish. What a tickly dish, that swimming fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. Here's your part. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a gull. And that's a seagull, which is a bird. It wasn't dull to swallow a gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a pail. She didn't wail when she swallowed that pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to carry the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. Oh my. There was an old lady who swallowed some sand. Oh, how bland to swallow sand. She swallowed the sand to fill up the pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to carry or to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed a shell. She didn't tell. There was no lady who swallowed a wave. Swallowing a wave was such a big hassle that she suddenly burped, blurp, and made a 
sand castle. <laughs> and I hope the weather will become nice enough so that you can go outside or go to the beach. Maybe you have a sandbox in your yard or at your house and be able to build your own sand castle if only mother nature would cooperate. Okay, boys and girls, so two things we talked about today. We read our old lady story about um, swallowing the shell and the fish and all the other stuff. But the big thing we talked about today was um, our call and response. And remember, call and response is when one person says a pattern or sings a pattern or plays an instrument. And then this second person responds back with something different. So they're not echoing the first person. Okay, so that's one thing I want you to really remember from this week because we use that a lot in music class. So boys and girls, it has been a pleasure to make music with you today. I miss you so very much and I hope we can see each other very soon. But until then, bye-bye.